guys, Krista Thompson here for Weenie and Walter. I'm so excited to be here today. Well, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to use these stamps. So first we have the Framed with LET Designs. And I haven't used this. It's a really pretty and we're going to be using uh, these leaves. We're going to be stamping over watercolor. I can't wait to show you how to do that. And then for our sentiment, we're using the party and we're doing hooray, it's your day. So let's get started. We're going to start with our piece of cardstock. So this is a Nina four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're gonna do a wash of every color. I have my piece of acetate here and we are going to stamp these colors onto the acetate. One of the uh, best things about these inks is that you can watercolor with them and then stamp on them. So you're gonna have a really nice um, color coordination. Also, I want to let you know that you can get these inks at the Weenie and Walter shop. So it's a one-step shop if you want to get the supplies for this card. All right, so I have my colors ready to go. I have a mini spritzer and I'm just going to spritz the colors. We're going to grab that Sweet 16 and we're going to do just a very nice wash of this color. All right, I'm gonna clean off my brush and then I'm gonna move on to the melon eyes. So when you're watercoloring or, or doing any color, I like to do the lightest colors first. And my reasoning behind that is that it won't mix with that darkest color. All right, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, shading on the edges. And then last but not least, we are have the aqua teeny. We're going to bring that all the way down. Okay. And then while those dry, I'm going to add more water. And the reason why is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to flicker and I'm going to add splatters to this watercoloring. And it just gives it a little more dimension, kind of pretty. I'm going to clean off my brush and then I'm going to grab the Sweet 16 and I'm going to create splatters again. And then, last but not least, I'm going to grab this Melon Eyes and add more splatters to it. Then we're going to let this dry and we're going to stamp. All right, guys, our watercolors are nice and dry so we can begin stamping. So we're going to come back with the frame and we're going to grab those different leaf patterns and I have them ready to go on my acrylic brush, on my acrylic block. We're going to start with Sweet 16. And honestly, you're just going to stamp over the color that corresponds with that watercolor wash. So I'm going to grab each one of my leaf patterns and then turn this one around. And we're just going to stamp over those patterns. We're going to repeat this process on the Aquatini and on the melon ice. So we're done with Sweet 16. We're going to move on to Aqua Teeny. I'm going to clean my acrylic blocks as I go with my stamps. So there is a lot of different um, opportunities to win some free Weenie and Walter stamps when you hop on over to the Weenie and Walter blog and check out all the different challenges that you can join. And when you join, you do have a chance to win. So be sure to hop on over to the Weenie and Walter Challenge Vlog and see how you can get involved and maybe see how you can recreate this card with your own colors, with the own stamps that you've got. So now we're gonna move on to Melon Eyes. And I think this is going to be the most difficult of the colors to see, but it's going to be quite, quite pretty. Right, which one am I missing? Okay, I got a couple more of these leaf patterns. Last one. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now we're going to move on to adding our sentiment. All right, guys, so this is nice and dry. Look how pretty those colors are. Now we're going to stamp the 
frame this beautiful banner that we have from the uh, frame stamp set so I have stamped this in black and then I had a uh, hand cut around it for the sentiment we're going to be adding the hooray it's your day and this is from the party I have some black ink and we're just going to keep this quite quite clean we're going to add we're going to ink up our stamp and then we're going to stamp hooray okay once this dries, we're going to foam mount this to our card. Alright guys, I placed the foam on the back of my sentiment and I'm just going to foam mount this. I did double up on my foam because I want some of the background to show. And now for a finishing touch, I'm going to add some silver nouveau glitter drops just all over the place. I thought about splattering this whole thing, but you know, we're just going to keep it nice, clean and simple with some watercolor and with some stamping. While I finish this up, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to click subscribe so you can get getting some of these tutorials. Stay tuned, there's a lot, a lot more tutorials, videos, and inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me. Have an